You know what I mean? So, appreciate me for a friendship, because friendship lasts longer than dance. And when I'm not able to dance anymore, I want to know that I got friends that care for me all the way over in Norway. So, let's just be thankful because there's a friendship and a family built, then dance comes next. Because before dance, you got to live. And that's what we're doing right now. Don't ever let someone tear down what took you so long to build. If dancing has lifted your self-esteem, if dancing has built your confidence up, and you walk differently because you found something that you love and something that you're good at, don't let anyone take that away from you. Because it's yours. You own it. It's your gift. And a gift is so much better when you're able to share it with people. Here's my cake. Happy birthday. Let's follow these slice. You get what I'm saying? You have to take those things and not only apply it to dance, but apply it to your life. Because after dance, you go home and you live. You get what I'm saying? Vice versa. Take everything that you do with your life and all the love and energy you put into wanting to be the best that you can, apply it to something that means so much to you. If you feel it the way I feel it. Love, dancing has done something differently, differently for me because I'm different. Now I'm because of dancing. I used to have low self-esteem until someone said, hey, you want you to move. What? You really think I can dance? Yeah. Based off the videos, I couldn't. But it felt good. It felt good to know that someone out there was thinking highly of me. You get what I'm saying? Um, there's so many amazing people that goes beyond the bio team. There's so many amazing people here, sitting down, that I've got a chance to see the personality. Um, a lot of the times, I've, I've spent hanging out with them, but I wish I would have hung out with you guys, because just a little hello and a little greetings means so much, because it goes so far. It feels really good to know that you're accepted and know that people appreciate what you work so hard on. Yeah? People don't know how hard it is to do what we do. They think it's fun. It is. But they don't know that you're in here busting your butt off. They don't know like B-boys, you're up there scarring your skin, maybe breaking a bone or two. The hard work that goes into dancing, the hard practices that you guys go through, the constant meetings of telling you guys to be, be 100, the constant reminders of telling you guys to come to class and why not spread the word so the vibe can be more than what it is, so it can be greatness. You get what I'm saying? It's hard work, but the reward is at the end when people can say, wow, thank you. I don't care. Just come. Just come. If you want to do what you want to do, come. Sky is the limit to what you're able to do and what your capabilities are going to do. And the only person that can hold you back is yourself. Fowl can't do it. Obviously, he's motivating you. He wants the best for you guys. Running this business, like Stefan said, is hard work. You guys don't know. I have my studio and have that profit yet. But it's not about the money. You get what I'm saying? It's about the love. It's about the passion. It's about the art. If I'm not able to do that, then what? What would Kalani do? I have the luxury of living my dream. I have the luxury of dancing for a living. Not many people are able to do that, so I'm blessed. I'm able to wake up and walk. Not many people are fortunate to do that, so therefore I'm blessed. I'm able to talk, I'm able to see, so I'm blessed. And I think a lot of the time we forget how much we are blessed. How blessed we really are. You know what I'm saying? This is not like a preach, this is real. I have two torn meniscus in my knees. I wear braces, right? They're torn still. I have no insurance, and it costs about 25, 30 grand for that surgery. And in America, we don't get free <laughs> insurance. Um, locked, my knees locked on me twice, and I had to be in crutches for two weeks, right before a show that was really important. So I come in and class and work hard, and that's like one class a week. In order to train, you gotta take classes. Rehearsal is not training, guys. Rehearsal is not training. Classes is training. People have backwards. The good people, the ones that are killing stuff all the time, they take classes to get good. They don't just go to a rehearsal and say, oh, let's practice, because your rehearsal is broken down so you're meant to perform. Class is pushing your brain, yeah? Thank you guys, I'm not talking. Thank you. Yes.
here for a month and she just took it and you don't even know, I watch you and I say, dang, you're so good. You're so good. Like, you're really talented. You go for it. You perform it. You know what I'm saying? Just only to the top. You know what I'm saying? So, I'm, man, I'm impressed. Like, keep it up. Keep it up. It's amazing. Woo! Okay. So, I'm going to it. Yeah. yeah. 